Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise with D. Rogers. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my packing up of five unthemed shoeboxes for little girls aged two to four. So come along. Okay, these are all my baby dolls that I have packaged up in two different bins here from various stores and orders. So what I really need to do is to pick out five baby dolls for my five boxes. Those are kind of big. This one's a little too small. This one has its own little carrier. All right, so this is where I will decide which five will find a home. Now I'm going to start bagging up two pair of little girls underwear, size four, to a bag. And I picked some bright colors. I want these boxes to be very colorful. So I picked very pretty um, organza bags to pack them up in. So all five bags are now ready to go and I'll move on to the next item. So these are my five cardboard boxes. This is what I'm starting with. And my idea is to take the, this paper that I got at uh, Joanne Fabrics on clearance and um, use my, my little cutting board here to cut it up and put it on the lid and the bottom of the box and then write Jesus Loves You on there. Um, we'll see how it turns out, but that's my thoughts. So let's give it a try. These are my school supplies that I'm getting ready to package up into the pencil pouches. I'm using these legal pads for their paper that I found at Target, uh, some Ticonderoga pencils, and I'm just going to pre-package all the pencil pouches so they'll be ready to go. I put together all of these school supply kits for each box. And each one includes two Ticonderogas, the large ones, uh, regular pencils, some novelty pencils, two um, color pencils, the chunky kind for the little ones, two colorful click pens, and on the other side, you can't really see them, but two markers, an eraser, and this is a gripper on here. And then tucked behind these, I got the idea from Val from V. Swain's Shoebox Sundays. I tucked in their pad of paper. And I got a five pack pad of junior legal size paper from Target. So that's all of them. And now I'm going to pick out a few of the skateboard stickers to decorate each pencil pouch. So now each pencil case has a little skateboard, two skateboard stickers on the top to decorate each one. So cute. Now I'm just taking a little bit of washi tape and putting it on the ends of the Ticonderoga pencils because I just don't want to take the chance of the lead getting all over the pretty dresses inside. I don't always do this, but um, since these are going to be loose in the box, I thought it would be a good idea. So today, I'm so excited. I received in the mail this box of baby blankets that were hand crocheted by a friend of mine. Her name is Phyllis. She lives in North Dakota. And Phyllis, these are just absolutely gorgeous. She does this out of the goodness of her heart. I paid her for shipping and her work is just amazing. And I'm so excited to put these with the baby dolls that I have chosen for these boxes. 
So I have everything lined up in my living room. I have everything that I want to put or try to put in these boxes. And I want the boxes to be as colorful as possible. So I have five dresses, some balls. I have five hygiene bags with lip balm, a washcloth, band-aids, nail clippers, and nail files. I have crayons, these little bracelets down here. I have five of those. And then I have five of these little coloring books that have the handles on them. And they have these stickers inside, which is one thing I love about them. And then up here, and yes, this is my piano. <laughs> I have socks, um, some lovies. I'm not sure I'm going to put those in, but these are lovies that I made. Combs. These are the little books from the Dollar Tree that pop up, and I put little animals with each one for a playset and put them in an organza bag. I have either jingle bells or these little castanets. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to end up using. I have these little Easter rainbow clouds um, eggs from Easter that I'm going to stuff with a few things. And then a, an organza bag with two pair of underwear for each little girl. And then some hair supplies for each box. Now optional is I have these little books, God Made a Colorful World. And then I have some toothbrushes over here. So have some jump ropes. I don't know if they'll fit, but I have them. And I also have some of those finger puppets. And then here is each little baby doll all wrapped up, ready to go. And I'm using these pretty blankets that my friend sent me. I'm hoping to get in one of these little Fisher Price Princess people in each box. There's Cinderella, and those were from CVS, 90% off clearance last year. So let's see what I can do. Okay, so this I think was my third box that I had packed, and that's what the box looked like after I finished decorating it. And that idea, by the way, came from a post on Facebook. That's my card and picture photo, family photo on the bottom. These are those stickers from the Dollar Tree that we found for 24 cents and or 25 cents, one of the two, and that goes on the bottom. This is the lovey that I made. So I made one for each box with a bright color on the back, a different bright color on the back of each one. Now I'm packing the pencil pouch, and that's all ready to go. And I just slid that in the box. Now I'm putting together the little um, book, pop-up book. Those again are from the Dollar Tree. I think they're so cute. And I packaged each book up with some play figures to make it like a play set. So those are two little unicorns that will go well with that book. And I'm putting that in. Next, each box got a pair of these little shorts that can go under the girls' dresses. I got these on clearance from Walmart. Some were a dollar and some were 50 cents. So there were two to a package. And then each dress was from Old Navy. And I got the dresses recently for, I think about 34 cents each. I had $55 in Old Navy cash. And I was thrilled to buy dresses for each of these boxes, as well as a few other items for my shoe boxes. So that's just by using my Gap credit card um, when you use it, you gain reward points. She has a comb and a toothbrush. I 
I put a jump rope in each box and I just I'm cutting off the tags here and I'm just going to show you how I packed that and you shape it like an L backwards L sort of down the front and the side of the box and that packs pretty easily that way this is one of the books with the handles this one is Noah's Ark these are at the Dollar Tree if you can find them I love these the pages are nice and bright and white and then they have these beautiful stickers in the front of each one this was her hygiene bag which I showed you earlier so I packaged prepackaged these up for each box and that's her underwear that I packaged up those are her crayons those are from Walmart and I was able to get this book in God made a colorful world I thought this was really appropriate book because I wanted these books these uh, boxes to be very colorful those books came from Oriental Trading on discount last year so these are the baby dolls that I wrapped up in the blankets that my friend sent me and put a ribbon around them she fit pretty nicely this is the Moana Fisher Price little people I got from CVS I took off her tag and I was able to slip her in pretty easily just kind of underneath the baby doll I had a little baby bottle to add to her and I just snuck that in the blanket this is her cross those are from Oriental Trading I wrapped that one up and put it inside her um, pencil um, her pencil sharpener just to use that space up then I used that little egg from Dollar Tree or it might have been Walmart that I got those from but they're very bright and colorful and I put in two of these little fluffy hair scrunchies these were all from Marshalls these were really good deals and some hair accessory ponytail holders and I love these those are the um, they're like a soft material type of ponytail holder and a little bracelet I got these from Aliexpress and tucked them all inside the little container so it's like a little surprise for her I did go with the castanets instead of the jingle bells I can't remember where I got the castanets from but they are on Timu right now a little ball that that was from Hobby Lobby tucked in those little fluffy hair ties and two of the little Disney princess finger puppets and the last thing I tucked in were the two Ticonderoga pencils that were loose down the front of the box and everything fit very well and it's just as I envisioned it for these little girls I'm adding her label marking it age 2 to 4 and a colorful sticker to identify the box so I wanted to show you in order to get that Fisher Price uh, princess in I had to opt for a smaller baby doll for two of the boxes and for this box I used the pop-up barn from the Dollar Tree these are so cute and then I just added these little finger puppets that I got on clearance after Easter last year from Walmart so she can play with them with her barn and that's how I packed five boxes all in a row for little girls age two to four with no theme, just lots of color and textures, all to bring joy and to represent God's love. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.